Good evening, everyone. In just two days, masking in some schools will no longer be required. Governor Kathy Hochul has lifted the school masking mandate for the state, allowing school districts to set their own policy. Monroe County Executive Adam Bello and County Health Commissioner Dr. Michael Mendoza addressed that change today. Amel Elhel sat in on that briefing and joins us now live in Rochester with more. Amel. That's right, Adam Teresa. Both the county health commissioner and the county executive are backing the governor's decision to lift the state mask mandate in schools. Now it's up to families to decide whether or not they're going to keep having their students' mask at school. Masks can now come off in New York State schools. The announcement comes following a 98% drop in COVID cases throughout the state. The governor's announcement gives leeway to counties should they choose to continue a mandate based on their COVID metrics. Monroe County will not be extending the mandate. We haven't seen any spikes. I mean, honestly, we have just been over the last several weeks um, on a very very good trajectory with our numbers. All the key indicators are going down. Statewide, only 0.008% tested positive after 51 days of a downward trend. Also the lowest point in pediatric cases since July of last year. Dr. Mendoza says if new cases are to arise inside the classroom, they would be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. There is somewhat of a shift that's happening. We're not doing as much community-based testing, but what we're asking people to do is what we've done before uh, the pandemic, which is that if you're feeling sick, you know, and you feel you need to get tested, we want you to reach out to your healthcare provider. Ello says regardless of the mandate lifting, many families will still choose to mask up. We've gone through so much in the last year and a half. People know at this point what they need to do to protect themselves, right? Um, a lot of in individuals, though, are still going to want to wear a mask and feel that's the right thing to do for themselves. And if they feel that way, to, if they feel that that's the right thing to do for themselves, then they should. They should wear a mask. Meantime, most county-run COVID testing sites will be closing. Instead, the county will be providing at home test at 32 county libraries starting tomorrow. In addition to still continuing to do the county run sites, scale to the demand that we've been meeting, we're also going to be able to, to, to put out uh, a lot more rapid test sites uh, more conveniently located throughout the community. You can find a list of those participating libraries over on our website, rochesterfirst.com. Adam, Teresa, back to you. Amel, thanks. Bella says there's still room to make changes if need be, but right now he says the trajectory when it comes to cases and hospitalizations, he says it's on the right track. Teresa.